Hi, I'm Johnny LaVoy, and I'm a hairstylist with Port Artist. I realize prom season is here, and what I'm going to do today is give you a few ideas on how to make your prom extra special. The look I'm going to do is inspired kind of from like Alicia Keys and Leona Lewis. So I'm going to start off by leaving her texture pretty much the way it is. I'm just going to concentrate right now on smoothing out the front, and I'm going to do that with some heat. So I'm going to start by sectioning the hair in fairly large sections. You just want to sort of smooth out that texture so that it looks a little more controlled. I'm going to take a large iron and just sort of give the hair a bend. I'm just trying to smooth it out a little bit. This look is great for something like a prom or even any other special occasion because it's sort of going to have a little bit of a fashion edge but still be neat enough that it can look pretty with something more formal. Hot tools are great because they have a heat regulator on them. So if your hair is fine, you can turn the heat down a bit. But if you have thick hair and you want it to uh, get a little straighter, you just turn the dial up. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to incorporate our extensions that we did because I thought it might be fun to add a little color, a few highlights, and also a little length because I, you want to, you know, it's prom, you want to go a little glam. So I'm going to really concentrate the extensions in the back though, I'm not going to really be concerned too much with the front. So I'm sectioning the hair from the top to right behind the ear and I'm just going to clip that out of the way. Over to this side too. So once I've done that, I have this hair that I'm going to give a little length and highlights to. And this is where all the fun comes in. So I'm going to section the hair right below the occipital bone, which I've gone over this before, but if you're new to uh, the videos, the occipital bone is the bottom of the round of the head. So you know how your head is round? Well, right underneath that roundness is called the occipital bone. And I'm just going to clip in an extension. I make my extensions just by sewing these hair clips. And what they do is they snap in and grip to the hair. And then I just sew hair that you can get in a beauty supply. I mix these so that it's her color plus some highlights. And I'm just going to snap them in. Okay, so after I've done that, I'm just going to take whatever hair is really sort of sticking out and I'm going to try to put the same curl in there. So I'm using a smaller iron, again, one from Hot Tools. That's a great thing because they do come in really small sizes. There's one even smaller than this. So if you have shorter hair, it would work great. I'm just wrapping the hair around the curling iron barrel just to get a wave in there. After I've done that, I'm just going to take a brush and kind of brush out this curl. And you can see how it starts to blend in with her natural hair. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a headband on because I want to dress it up a little bit and add an element of control. So then what I'm going to do is something for the front to smooth it and control it. So I'm just going to do a side part and it starts to blend in the extensions with everything else. Then I'm going to take a product with some gloss in it. It's a silicone and I'm really going to sort of shine that up so that the hair looks healthy. And I'm going to go right behind the ear with that. Again, I'm going to clip. So you see what that's looking like right now? So just by using your hands and kind of scrunching it, you can start to get more definition and kind of mold the shape what you want. And then if that's where you want to start incorporating spray. You notice I didn't put a lot of spray in in the beginning because you don't want it to appear really hard and crunchy. And now I'm just going to take some pins, big ones, a color that's similar to her hair. And what I'm doing, I'm going to show you how these are going to go in. I'm kind of crisscrossing them because when you crisscross the pins, they lock together and sort of act as an anchor. So you don't have to worry about them popping out throughout the night. 
So after I've done that, if you don't want pins to show, a quick fix for that is just to take a hairpin, just go underneath and lift and stick it in there. Then we're going to incorporate our headband and it just makes a nice romantic look. She looks a lot like Leona Lewis, doesn't she? And that's it. So this is a quick easy prom do if you're feeling like Alicia Keys.